inverter. And this inverter is made up of the transformer, transistor, and resistor. That's your battery. This is your battery. This is your bulb. This is your socket. The emphasis placed on the development and acquisition of skills rather than mere certificate acquisition by the Governor Ifanyo Kowa led government in the last six years has remained undoubtedly unrivaled. Having identified skills acquisition as a sure route to fight the scourge of unemployment, poverty, and turn around the state's economy, Governor Ifanyo Kowa from the onset made it one of his administration's policy thrust. Hence, the commitment of huge state resources to the improvement of the already existing technical colleges and now the addition of new ones. During the inauguration ceremony that ushered Governor Fanyo Kowa to his second term in office in 2019, his reaffirmed commitment to improving and developing skills acquisition through technical education in the state brought about his declaration to establish 19 new technical colleges in addition to the already existing six. This is to ensure easy access to this form of education by all Deltans across the 25 local government areas. Top on the list of my priorities is the establishment of 19 new technical colleges in 19 local government areas. This will bring the total number of technical colleges to 25, which is one per local government area. It is a welcome development because today, the UNESCO Univoc, they are hammering on vocational skills for sustainable development. I believe this project for bringing uh, more technical schools to Delta State will help us to actualize uh, the sustainable development goals. Ekweme, the promise keeper, as he is fondly called, wasted no time in rolling up his sleeves to commence the construction of nine out of the 19 in the first phase. Today, it is safe to say that this promise is gradually becoming a reality as some are almost set for inauguration. A recent trip to the location of one of these almost completed colleges in Uvia local government area by the Smart Delta team revealed that a few finishing touches is just what is needed. This row is the four units of classrooms, making the 12 classrooms. And this is the finishes for the door. The engineer we met on site gave us more details about the project. The name Model Technical College comprises of uh, about 16 building units where we have uh, the gatehouse, the administrative building, we have the school hall, we have the clinic, the principal's quarter, the vice principal quarters. We have three units of workshops. We also do have uh, the generator house and maintenance units. We have hostels for male and female and also dining and kitchen. Appreciably, the works have gotten to about 85% uh, completion. It meets up to the standard, even far beyond. Some workers on site and a few residents in the area expressed satisfaction with the efforts of the governor towards improving the standard of technical education in the state. The governor he did a great job for bringing this technical school here. They really put much effort on this work and all the equipment they're bringing here is of high grade. Painting the hall, can see we're doing it two colors, which is dove gray and Swiss cream, 50-50. You have to tape it very well so that your work will be, look nice. I'm one of the electrician here. We have been working here since all this while, so the work is going on. While our governor is trying, bidding these projects for states, I even told that he's bidding in all around the states. So I see it's a very nice project. Since this place has been empty, market, mechanic, and robbers, they are robbing people early morning in the night. But since government is to build technical school here, we find out with the school. Kowa is doing well. To further track the level of work done and how ready these schools are for inauguration and commencement of academic activities, our team 
proceeded to the Obiaroko Technical College in Ukwani local government area. We are almost at the completion stage of this project. What is actually remaining is the finish, basically painting and some few tiny works. That's what we are doing. External works, as you see, we have done the earthwork. So the filling and the asphalt pavement is what is next. And by the grace of God, we we'll try as much as possible to make sure that it is completed as planned. Since the end goal of this form of education is to provide youths with hands-on training with skills that would enable them to become self-reliant in the future, indigenous and residents of a community remain grateful to the working governor for bringing technical college closer to the grassroots. We travel very far to gain this education from there. So now we are happy that they're able to remember us. We are very happy for this school. God should empower them to do more, strengthen them, the wisdom and understanding to do more good things. This is one of the major projects we have in our community here. I want to commend the Senator Dr. Ifai Atokowa for this great job. The roadmaster he has done well and we are happy. San Delta. The almost completed Asaba Technical College is one that has left residents of the area stunned at the transformation the school has brought to the area. The applause goes to Governor Fanyokoa for investing so much in the education of Deltans. This uh, school is very, very important to our country, our town, and uh, Africa in general. It will help our children. This one is practical, so it can help them to establish on their own when they finish. The new technical school college has transformed the area, transformed the city. So it's a big development to the state and to the local government. The project manager also gave us more insights into the soon to be inaugurated project. Product of this school to a very large extent will be independence. They will not be job seekers. Instead, they will be job creators. So the ideology behind this project is a very great one that is not common with ordinary men. We are done with the main structural works. We are almost completing the external works. In a number of weeks to this time, we hope to deliver this uh, project for use. Committed to ensuring that projects are delivered on time and of topmost quality, Governor Fanyokoa has never relented on paying unannounced and regular inspection visits to these ongoing technical colleges. I'm excited to see what I've seen, but of course you do know the times that we are in. The COVID slowed down the construction and the COVID also came with its challenges of the press funding. However, we thank God that we are on course. The nine that we started, there are different stages and we are now trying to take it bit by bit. This is one of the ones we thought should start first. From what we see, you can see that a lot is being done. Smart Delta. He don't do him again, in a big way. Jesus don't do him again, no, in a big way. He don't... Mama Sandra, what you don't do again in a big way, where you not go let us hear what for this company? Neighbor, eh? you know that my brother, when come stay with us? Joshua. Yes, he know they let me and my husband hear what. Every time, I won't go to technical college, I won't go to technical college. Uh -huh. yeah. But we'll not get anyone for this, our local government. Uh, that was true. But not be so it be again because construction of nine technical colleges they in progress already as a matter of fact commissioning could soon happen for some because the work they finishing stage already joy <laughs> you remember say during governor okowa swearing in for 2019 he promised say he could build 19 new technical colleges in addition to the already existing seats, so that each local government could get one technical college. And Governor Okowa don't already they fulfill what he promise. As a matter of fact, he don't already embark on recruitment of teachers because of these new technical colleges. Governor Okowa still they upgrade the already existing technical colleges. Joy, now I know why they call him the talk and do governor. Yes, sir, bros. He the talk him, he the do him with the see him. <laughs> Joshua. Uh, Joshua, what do you carry my wire to do? I didn't have to practice for the technical school I was at. My friend, will you take that wire back before electric chucks you? <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's his dream. Joshua, you go go to school first now. Nah. Hmm. The 
miss my younger brother. Governor Okoa, making your dreams come true. Smart Delta. Preparatory to the inauguration and eventual takeoff of these schools, the proactive governor, through the Ministry of Technical Education, embarked on a massive recruitment exercise for teachers that would eventually man these technical colleges. One of the first steps taken was the computer-based test, CBT, carried out at different locations for the thousands of applicants from across the state. To see to the successful execution of this process, the Honorable Commissioner for Technical Education, Princess Shola Ogbemi Daibo, was on ground to monitor and supervise the process in all the centers in Asaba, Ogwashuku, Abraka, and Wari. Speaking to the Smart Delta crew at one of the venues, she revealed some of the criteria for the selection process and the plans to further train successful candidates. We need people who are experienced in teaching, who are trained to teach. And this one, not just teaching, like the normal basic secondary schools and other, this one is technical. And you know that in the technical school and the vocational studies, we use a lot of equipment. And if you are not knowledgeable about internet, about using the computer, you might not be able to operate those equipment in technical and vocational schools. So that's why we we'll say that CBT test must be organized for those who will be recruited into the technical colleges. I've seen what he has. Some of the applicants, like James Chukwe Meke, Miracle Anyafulu, and Judith Eze, whom we met at the Asaba CBT Center, commended their recruitment process as transparent. They also paid glowing tributes to Governor Fanyokoa for bringing technical education to light in Delta, even as they looked forward to emerging successful at the end of the process. Everything has been very transparent and that is why we are here because of transparency. We appreciate the process and for my governor, I've seen what he has been doing in the area of technical education, building new schools and upgrading the old ones. It is a pass mark. Technical education, mostly there is practical work. And to me, practical work are more important than the theory. When you teach people theory aspects and they are not doing the practical, it's more or less like they've not learned anything. Our governor has done a great work. I've seen the structures, the facilities there, they are wonderful. And I believe that I can work there. The governor, Dr. Ifan Yokowa, has tried very well bringing up these technical schools. He has done well for Deltas. I'm here for the interview as well. I just pray that God favors me. The anointing of the Lord will be upon you. Amen. We will grant you a defensive memory. Amen. Everything you have put into work for this exam will not be just like in Asaba, some of the candidates at the other centers also spoke to us about their preparedness to take up the job if employed. They expressed satisfaction with the recruitment process and did not fail to applaud the governor for investing in the technical education system in the state as they enumerated some of the benefits. We all need technical education because we need technocrats, we need the engineers, we need the technicians, and we lack most of those things in our educational system. And this is a welcome development. Dr. Ifan Okowa, he has done marvelously well. He's trying to bring back the era of evocation. It creates employment, and then on the long run, people become their own boss. It's very good. Yes. Upon completion of the first phase of the recruitment exercise, successful candidates from across the state who scaled through the computer-based test once again converged at the Asaba Vocational Center for the final phase of the exercise, which included the verification of documents and oral interview. The Commissioner for Technical Education is a regular guest in all the processes to monitor and ensure the smooth running of the exercise. After the teeth have been fold down on the floor, this is what this is the timber. When you cut the way to pump the timber, they will not transport it into the choir size. We had about 26,000 people that applied. After the CBT that we've already gotten some people, the cut-off mark has helped us to prune down the more. So these people are still here now and the people that were selected to come for the oral interview. So when they're still here now, those will be the ones to be employed. 
to ensure that all standards are met and the most qualified candidates are selected at the end of the exercise, the Ministry of Technical Education had ensured that very well experienced scholars from different higher institutions of learning in the state were on ground to access the candidates. The process so far is a very fantastic one. Right from the period we were told that there was CBT, at which stage some applicants were screened out, and this is the next phase at which face-to-face -face interaction we also have a pattern for scoring. The process is really going on very smoothly and it's transparent. They followed the process. We spoke with some of the candidates who share their thoughts with us on the recruitment process and on a course dedication to ensuring priority attention is given to skills acquisition and technical education in particular. They follow the process, checking the results, your certificate, your credential, and after that you go in for the major interview micro teaching. It has been coordinated, it has been flowing well, although the crowd is quite enormous, but it is going smoothly. I must applaud the Okowa-led administration for his wonderful input to fortify the workforce of the state. Also, setting up of more technical colleges, yes, is a good thing. It's a good one since they are trying to use merits because that's one of the main things. To further certify that the entire process was conducted fairly and only the qualified are recruited, the chairman of the Delta State House of Assembly Committee on Education, Honorable Charles Emetulu led some members of the committee to the screening venue to monitor and supervise the process. We want a situation where those that will be engaged will be eminently qualified for the job they want to do. Like you have seen now, this is not political, this is strictly on merit. Most of the people you have seen here, they got qualified to come here on their own merit. We were very impressed to find that beyond the oral interview, there's also room for a bit of practical teaching. If you are going to teach, then let us see you practicalize it. So uh, things have changed. If you are going to be a teacher in Delta State, you need to have something upstairs. With the huge investment being made towards the establishment of new technical colleges, the Okawa-led government has not left behind the already existing six technical colleges as they have continued to revamp and upgrade them, which has, in turn, continued to yield positive results. Just very recently, in December 2021, these six colleges converged in Asaba for the maiden edition of the Technical and Project Fair exhibition by the Ministry of Technical Education. The event gave students of these six technical colleges the opportunity to showcase their skills and knowledge acquired over time. This is serving as the open machine because we have no bottle where that is how we decided to use the bulb. And here is the indicator light. Once it gets to the first level, the first light will come on. The radio antenna, the mini money saver, and the inverter. The radio antenna is an electronic device that receives signals all over the country or in between where we are. We came here to present what we have learned from our school. I was so excited to be among those that were selected. The skill I acquired now will help me in future because I will be self-reliant. The objective of this program basically is to tell the world that what Senator Dr. Ifai Nukua has done for our technical college not and I'm very proud of the students. They've shown the world that they can do great things with their hands. At the end of the exhibition, the best performing schools were rewarded with trophies and cash prizes. It was a moment of celebration for some of them. I'm just so happy that my school is the winner of this exhibition. My teachers are teaching me well to become a winner and I'm grateful for all my teachers. I'm very happy because you see, it's an exhibition of uh, skills. Uh, we demonstrated a lot. A lot of schools were here and uh, we came first. It's not easy. It, the, the glory will be to Almighty God. Most especially, all the honor will be to the governor for making this environment possible for us. Our students are filling the tools. 
God bless the governor. What is being done in the technical colleges is also without prejudice to the many other skills acquisition and vocational centers in the state. The governor has continued to ensure that the various vocational centers, just like the technical colleges, are given maximum attention in order to ensure that competent and skilled manpower are produced. This effort by the state government is already coming to fruition as hundreds of competent and skilled manpower are sent forth yearly from these centers. Just very recently, a graduation ceremony and exhibition fair for three different streams from 2020 to 2021 set of trainees from all the vocational centers was held at the Asaba Vocational Center featuring the display of different skills. And now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare making the hoops because that is the most simplest when you are going to Oh, I want to call it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some of the guest speakers at the event encouraged the graduate trainees on ways to further improve on the various skills acquired. I want to encourage you to keep in your best. You have been given the requisite skills for you to function effectively in the society. And I hope that we are not going to disappoint the state. So we are looking up to you to contribute effectively to the upliftment of the state economically and socially. The opportunity that you have been given and the opportunity that you have taken advantage of is an important platform. What you have now is like a trigger for success and I join all lovers of entrepreneurship to wish you success in your present and your future endeavors. It was really a great time. Some of the graduates extended their appreciation to the governor for providing a platform for them to acquire skills at a cheap cost. When I came here, I didn't know how any skill, I didn't know how to make hair or do makeup, but they taught me everything and it has been great. But I would like to thank the state governor, Dr. Ifan Okowa, who made this possible for us because they made it very cheap for us to be able to learn some skills. I want to say thank you to Governor Nifa Yokowa for opening this place for us to learn a skill. It has been wonderful. The experience so far has been wonderful. It has been marvelous. We're very grateful for what I got to learn here. Thank you, His Excellency Ifa in Otto Okowa for the opportunity you gave to us. No state or nation can grow and develop without a sound education policy committed to preparing its young ones for the future. Thus, the action of the Okawa-led administration to build a strong education subsector is seen by many as another milestone towards building a stronger Delta. segment question of the day i have a question for the government when will the schools kick start because a lot of students are warming up some of them don't want to go in other school they're still waiting for technical college when will they start admission thank you very much Jerry Adem. the technical schools are almost ready finishing touches is what we are putting in the, the tree that is coming up recruitment of teachers into technical schools has not been concluded, but we are almost concluded. After we have gotten all the equipment and the laboratories and everything ready, before the end of the first quarter, by his grace, forms will be sold. Publication of the forms will be everywhere, on the internet, on television, on the radio, and you will get to know that the school is set to take off. I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0812119233 or send with a hashtag accent to all our social media platforms.
come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do I see a job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okowa! I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cooler. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say, come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.